Meanwhile, in Delta State, the government commenced the vaccination today with Governor Ifai Okoa, his wife Edith, and members of the state's executive council taking their turns at the government house at Sabah. Governor Okoa appealed to all residents to take advantage of the opportunity to get vaccinated, giving assurances of its safety and more doses to be delivered to the state in April. We want to reassure our people in Delta State that the vaccine is safe and that they should ignore the various social media reports. There is no doubt that with every drug and with every vaccine, it is possible to have minimal side effects. It is not something that will deter us from taking the vaccination. It is something that is common and there is no scare concerning this particular vaccine, the AstraZeneca vaccine, neither is there any scare concerning all other COVID-19 vaccines that have been approved by the WHO. The AstraZeneca vaccine has been approved by the WHO it has also been approved by NAFTA and it's been applied in several countries as we speak today, over 100 million doses. From Delta, we move to Enugu State, where health workers at the State University of Technology Teaching Hospital Isolation and Treatment Center are the first to receive the jab in the state which had received 65,410 doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 vaccine. The Executive Secretary, Enugu State Primary Health Care Development Agency, Dr. George Ugu, says that decision to start with frontline health workers is in line with the protocol of the National Primary Health Care Development Agency. Enugu State took delivery of 65,400 and 10 doses of COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> Following that historic event, in the last couple of days and weeks, the Enugu State Primary Care Development Agency has been doing trainings and preparations and getting everybody and everywhere ready with our over 102 teams that will handle COVID-19 vaccination in this first phase all over Enugu State. We have also made adequate arrangement for coaching, ensuring with the help of our government that the COVID-19 vaccine is protected and preserved and kept at the right temperature.